currently around 11 p.m. and I'm back at the airport. So I left. I left the hotel at around 10, 9:55 ish, and then I'm here at 11 sharp, and I am heading to check in right now. So my flight is at 1:25 ish, 1:30, but then. Uh, I just decided it would be a bit better to come earlier because I'm not really sure how long check-in will take even though I'm taking Fin Air which means that oh by the way, I don't know if you can see the sign uh, okay, you can't really see the sign but yeah um, even though I think since I'm taking Fin Air it should be uh, check-in like using the machine but it might still take a while. So yeah, this is going to be a long bunch of escalators, so it'll take a while. But um, I guess overall the trip was pretty fulfilling compared to, honestly compared to like most other trips. And even the Sweden one, I feel like the Sweden one was just... Mm, first time travelling to such a far place on my own like I don't really count Australia as very far so yeah and on top of that because Sweden had the layover as well it wasn't very comfortable but I think like um, even my direct flight to Finland right which is 13 and a half hours I think it was like super tiring just sitting down for 13 ish hours even though I did kind of get to go to the toilet and stuff in the middle of the flight and I ate two meals on the plane but you know it's just like kind of odd getting stuck in the in the airplane for like 13-ish hours because for the Sweden one I think it's around like 9 hours and 7 hours or something but it was like two separate instances because there was a layover in Qatar but yeah so I think staying on the plane for 13.5 hours that was a new experience for me but mm, that aside I think like these two days like it's considered as like two full days I guess landed at oops, landed at um, 6 a.m. in the morning and then now I'm flying off at 1 1 a.m. So around 40, wait, um, yeah, around 40 hours, 40 plus hours. So definitely gonna see a, a lot more compared to Sweden. And what else? Like in in Sweden, I didn't, did I get to send postcards? I think I sent like a few, but um, it was all kind of rushed because I happen to be able to buy postcards and also the stamps at the airport. I'm not sure if you can do it here, but it seems like a bit. Definitely there were some minor inconveniences here and there in Finland, but then, you know, it is what it is. Like, um, a lot of things that we take for granted, SG, I think. Like in Singapore, we don't, uh, we don't, we cannot expect them here. So that's why like, it will feel this way, but then I guess in Europe and most other places, I would say that Finland is considered quite safe. Uh, Estonia, I'm not sure because I was only there for like three and a half hours, but the vibes make me feel like not so safe. Mm. In Finland, I think it's much better. Transport wise, it's also pretty convenient. Their metro is like quite a simple line right now. Like there's M1 and M2, there are two different like trains that cross over for like more than half of the line or something. Okay, I'm, I'm not really sure. But then, mm, yeah, comment down below if you know about like uh, the Finnish metro system and whether they're going to add more uh, lines or something. But then the tram, it works pretty well. The tram and the long distance trains, I'm not really sure what they call their long distance trains because yeah I don't know Finnish but then 
so you have a different categorization for it. So like the long distance ones are letter based. So like I train, P train, the ones that come to the airport, I took like one of them, R and R or Z, I forgot. I think R. R train. Yeah. Whereas the trams are trams are more often within the city centre, like getting to Auto Talo, which is the com venue. Yeah. Or like getting to getting to my hotel. Okay, so I have just reached T2. Um I think T1 is literally next to T2, so it's basically the same thing. So um yeah, and then the trams are numbered, like, I I think the, the one I take the most often is like, tram number 7, if I'm not wrong, so, yeah. Anyway, I was going to take like a photo, or like a video of the cafe across the road from the main, the, the central railway station, but then it was just super blur. I was going to make a statement about like, Oh, you think Finland doesn't have people? But then, like, because the... So yesterday morning, when I reached the cafe, when I reached Espresso House, then there were, like... Um, there was, like, almost no one. It was pretty empty. But then, today night, I see, like, tons of people there. So, I think, yeah, there's another one, literally, right here next to me. There's an Espresso House. Like right here. Uh, but it's closed. Okay. But yeah, just now around like 10 pm at the central railway station, it was still, there was still a lot of people. So yeah. Okay, I need to go and find the place to check in now. So see you guys on the other side. Actually, no, maybe this might, this might be my last vlog because. When I get back in Singapore, it will be around like 7.30 p.m. And honestly, after the 13.5 hour flight, I don't think I'll be able to um, take another video already. So, you know, every everything must finish, finish thing, like right here. So like, um, yeah, is there anything else? Like, I think if there's any more cool stuff, I'll just like, Take another video of it later. Okay, my hand is getting very tired. It's like seven minutes ish. I do not usually take like this long videos, but yeah. So yeah, behind me you can see the espresso house, and then this is just some supermarket. And then what else? Yeah. There's some like plant feature there, but then I don't think it's like very important. So. Yeah. Okay. If I see anything else cool, then I'll take a video. If not, then I think this marks the end of the Finland trip. Will I be back here? Possibly, but not so soon. Maybe I'll go and explore the places first. Yeah. And I might revisit Australia at the end of the year, depending on how I feel about like and my other plans for comms and stuff. But overall, not too bad. Like, weekend coming here for two comps is quite worth it, I guess. Yeah, I did film some stuff at com as well because, like, they were playing anime music in the background. So I think that was quite cool. Okay, see you.